Hi, it's Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Today we have the program. It's called um, HD. There's a lot of these uh, products out on the market right now. Uh, this one generally sells around $80 or so, and you can usually find some other coupons between 15 and uh, 30 percent, and, and uh, sometimes more if you're lucky if they're running a great special. But HDR Darkroom 2 is by the company Ever Imaging, and um, I've used this now for processing some uh, HDR photos in addition to other programs and this is a very straightforward program for someone that's looking to get into HDR photography. The photo you see up on the screen right now is a um, collection of three different images to create the HDR image so shot at different um, exposures, a dark, a normal, and then a bright exposure, and it's combined in the program. So what this does, HDR Darkroom has a lot of um, very easy and straightforward features, plus you can also export right to a couple different um, social, media, uh, social media platforms, which is really nice too, you just have that right there. So I went ahead and uh, loaded the three images, and HDR Darkroom also has an align and a deghosting feature, so in case your images are off a little bit, it will help to make sure everything looks really nice. And uh, trying it on some other images, it looked like it worked really well. So we have our no normal um, options here on the sidebar, batch, save, save as, we can share. So if we go to share, I'll show you real quick, we can do a Flickr, Facebook, or Twitter, which is really nice. And don't forget now Flickr offers up to one terabyte of storage space for your photos, which is really cool. Um, just some of the basic features right here uh, are really, really excellent. We have the normal the tone balancer, which actually looks like it is spelled wrong. It says tone balancer. So uh, hopefully they, uh, they update that. Just a little uh, note there. The tone enhancer and all this happens live while you're doing it so you know that one got a little bit darker but you have all these other adjustments we have basic adjustments color adjustments noise reduction and uh, some of the presets we also have tone compressor so these are a lot of the options that you would see in uh, a lot of the HDR programs to really achieve the image that you look that you're looking for so again we have the strength of the HDR so I can adjust it and this one just looks more like a uh, normal photo that's like perfectly exposed. And you got to remember HDR photography, which is high dynamic range, really allows you to capture an image that you would not be able to capture with a single shot. So again, we have our basic adjustments. We can do that. And you see it's happening live, which is great. So you don't have to wait for it to render really or anything like that. We can fix our whites, the blacks. Uh, go ahead, go to color adjustment. We have our temperature setting. We have an eye drop picker, um, tint settings, so you can always adjust that. Uh, and then you can go into red, green, and blue just to adjust it a little bit further down. Now, again, this is not a, a very, very in depth and advanced program, but this is really great for someone that's kind of scared to have all those features. But this will still generate a really nice looking HDR photograph and again it's very straightforward but you still have a lot of options to play with we have our uh, strength features so some of the stuff depending on how much you move around might take a second or two to uh, auto update but also we have our tone enhancer so if we go back to that you know you see how it compresses the image a little bit different so we can do a fill light and it just you know, you work with it to see where you want to go with with the photo and what you're looking to achieve. And the same thing in these, we have the basic adjustments and the noise reduction, things like that, because sometimes uh, noise comes into play when you're working with HDR photos. So let's go back to the tone balancer. And, uh, you know, this one, tone balancer, kind of starts to make it look a little bit more animated or cartoony sometimes, but then you can really work with it. Another great thing about this program, you can work with raw images in addition to like JPEGs um, or and, and uh, GIFs and things like that. So just uh, adjusting the normal settings, you can really, you have enough features to get done what you want to and be able to 
to produce a really great looking photo and especially if you're running something like uh, Photoshop or you know uh, one of those other or like GIMP or something like that you can get it going here get the image you want and then you can go ahead and you can manipulate it more in Photoshop um, same idea saturation um, whites blacks color adjustments really the same options across the board we have some other options down here we can crop the photo photo right in the program rotate left rotate right we can fit um, I believe this is almost like a sizing so right now it's a one-to-one -one. and we can also save uh, some presets here and you have pretty much the same information up top one thing I really would like to see I think would be some custom presets that are just you know already set that I could go through especially since it really is a um, kind of introduction type tool to HDR and very straightforward I think having maybe 20 different presets that I can just scroll through um, would be great and maybe a way that other users of HDR Darkroom 2 could um, upload presets that I can download and install but besides that, I mean, for a hundred dollars, you know, or eighty dollars or so, depending on the coupon that you find, I think it's a really great way to get into HDR photography and the HDR processing. Again, it has all the features that you really need to bring in a, a great photo, as far as the deghosting and uh, alignment and uh, being able to work with raw images from a variety of different cameras, including Canon and Nikon and Fuji. So I really think this is a great way if you're looking to get into HDR. Um, de as far as a straightforward program and easy to use program for HDR, I definitely give the HDR Darkroom 2 by uh, Ever Imaging uh, a damn good review. Very easy. Uh, I would check it out. You can go ahead and download the demo from them right at their website, and uh, you know give it a try for yourself and and see how you like it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope this was a good uh, overview and a little review. But uh, we definitely recommend HDR Darkroom 2. I'm Alan with Damn Good Reviews. Check us out at damngoodreviews.com and of course on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash damngoodreviews. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.